Hey guys, I am going to show you how I make a GIF, GIF, whatever you call it. So the first thing to do obviously is you need to take a really quick series of images at your session. So you really wanna try not to move that much, but obviously if you're shooting handheld like I am, it's impossible, um, but just do your best. And then from there, load your images into Lightroom. I've got my series of pictures here. So there's 31 pictures in total, and I'm gonna start by editing one. So I'll go down to the transform panel. I'll hit auto. I'll put on my lens correction. And then I'm going to go apply my preset, which is going to be north nine. And I'm just going to bring the saturation back up and just adjust my white balance, my exposure. Just a few little quick things. Okay, that looks really good. So now I'm going to uh, command A to select all the images in this folder. And I'm going to hit sync and I'm going to sync everything. So hit that. So now all the other images should have the same effects applied. So this was shot handheld so that the camera does move a little bit. I'm not perfectly still, but close enough. So you can see mom and daughter shaking their heads. Okay, that looks really good. So now I'm gonna select all and I'm gonna export them. I'm gonna hit export. I'm gonna go into my pre-made settings here, my client high res, and I'm gonna put it into a folder called GIF. We're gonna wait for these to export and we're gonna open them in Photoshop and I'll show you how that works. So once your images have been exported from Lightroom as JPEGs, you wanna go into Photoshop. You're gonna go into File, uh, Scripts, Load Images into Stack, and then you're gonna go Browse to find your files on your hard drive. These are the files. I'm gonna select them all, hit Open, and then just hit OK. And that's gonna load them all here into Layers. Okay, once those are all loaded into Photoshop, you're gonna hit create frame animation, and then you're gonna come here to this little hamburger menu, and you're gonna say, uh, make frames from layers. Okay, now it sticks everything here, which is your timeline, which is this is what creates the video effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and select them all, and you see this little drop down with the time? I'm gonna change that to 0.1 seconds, and we're gonna hit play. There you go. And now when you're done, you can press stop. Make sure this is on forever so it just keeps looping. You'll go into file, export, and you can render video. So if you wanna have an MP4 or if you wanna save it as a GIF, you click save for web and GIF. And you want to change the image size because otherwise the file will be huge. So make this as small as you can. And that's it. Thanks for watching.